Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number five, the Federal Road Safety Corps, Ogun State Command, has confirmed the death of nine people in an accident involving two vehicles on the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. The sector commander of FRSC in the state, Ahmed Umar, told newsmen that 16 other persons sustained varying degrees of injuries in the accident, which occurred at about 3.45 p.m. on Wednesday. The accident involved a commercial white Mazda bus with registration number APP28YE and a blue Volvo truck with no plate number. The FRSC commander said the corpses of the deceased had been deposited at the morgue in Idera Hospital in Shagamu while the survivors were receiving treatment at the same hospital. At number four, the creative director of the Tokyo Olympics opening ceremony, Kentaro Kobayashi, has been fired. He was fired a day ahead of the event. Kobayashi's dismissal was announced by the Olympics organizers at a press conference on Thursday. The organizers cited an incident years ago where the fired official reportedly made fun of the Holocaust. The chief executive of the organizing committee, Toshiro Muto, said the entire opening program will be closely scrutinized again. At number three, the governor of Ekiti State, Kayode Fayemi, inaugurated a 260,000 capacity first private owned cemetery in the state on Wednesday. While inaugurating the City Gate Park and Garden Cemetery located at Emirin area of the state, Fayemi said the facility had the capacity to avert environmental hazards and safeguard the health of the citizens. He added that the initiative symbolized the government's efforts towards encouraging private investors in the state. At number two, a medical doctor, Solomon Nidiamaka, who was kidnapped by gunmen on Monday in Kogi State, has regained freedom. Nidiamaka of General Hospital Ugolawo in Ofu local government area of the state was weeks away from the premises of the hospital by unknown gunmen around 8.30 a.m. A statement jointly issued by the chairman and secretary of the Nigerian Medical Association in the state, Omar Koji Oigo, and Famotele Tolorunju on Wednesday revealed the kidnapped doctor was released on Tuesday. The association did not, however, disclose if any ransom was paid to secure the release of the doctor. At number one, the federal government has shut down various parks in the federal capital territory, Abuja, over fear of COVID-19 resurgence. The head, media and publicity of FCT Ministerial Committee on COVID-19 Enforcement, Ikaro Atta, announced this on Wednesday during a monitoring exercise at Millennium Park in Abuja. The federal capital territory administration said it was mounting surveillance at recreational parks within the territory to ensure compliance with COVID-19 protocols. Atta also noted that this administration would not lose its guard on the control of the ravaging virus. Always remember to wear your mask, wash your hands and stay safe. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.